Hey everyone, this is Brian with Debug Your Bed. Today I'm gonna put together a little experiment to show you how well heat works to kill bed bugs. So uh, I'll explain a few things and we'll, we'll show you the live action. All right, so here we have a, a 10 gallon fish tank uh, with a retrofitted lid to accommodate my heat source wife's hair dryer. Thank you, honey. Uh, port there to throw my camera up uh, when I'm ready to film. And then some uh, holes to let the static pressure out. Inside the tank, uh, an oven thermometer and a digital thermometer and a quarter because I'm going to be using this guy to add yet another uh, proof of temperature. So between these three temperature sources, we should be in good shape. Um, so we will uh, start heating this up and come back when it is about 120 degrees. Um, and if you've done your research, you know that the bed bugs will die. Starting at 118 degrees for an extended period of time, um, up until about 140 where they die instantly. So I'm gonna have it around 120 and we'll time it and see how long it takes for the bugs to die. Oh, and by the way, we, uh, we're at a bed bug job today and we asked for some volunteers. And these guys volunteered to die later than sooner. So thank you, fellas. Your life is about to end. All right. We are almost there. As you can see, we have a couple different readings. Um, once we get the bugs in there, I'll start the timer. But we are at 116 degrees on the digital and about 135, 140 on the oven thermometer. Not totally convinced that is uh, super accurate, but that's why I have two in there. And then my infrared gun is showing about 113 to 118 or 19 across the bottom. So we're close, we're very close. All we'll right, be back shortly. Heat, uh, temporarily, I just want you guys to see this. So apparently the glass absorbs uh, quite a bit faster and more so than the quarter. So I'm actually letting this cool down a bit. I don't want to drop the bugs in here and have them die instantly. I'd like them to move around a bit. And in case you're wondering, the uh, paper in there is actually taped to the bottom, the underside of this tank. So that is not that little uh, seam there is not something they can crawl into. That's below the glass. Uh, same with the back too, by the way. So it makes sense that this side is hotter because this is where the dryer was. And when we do heat treatments, we're usually between 120 and 135, depending on the circumstances. So this is the temperature that uh, we like to see when we do our heat treatments. Again, I'm gonna let this cool down for a minute. We'll film the uh, dropping in of the bugs and then uh, we'll put the camera up top, probably throw the uh, heat back on and we'll film from there. All right, we're about to make the drop. And uh, as I pointed these out earlier, these guys uh, we picked up at a bed job, bed bug job yesterday. When we first walked in, we found a bunch. And again, these guys volunteered. They've been uh, in this little Tupperware thing, inside a Ziploc bag, in my car, below freezing temperatures for, oh, almost 48 hours. So here's the drop. So you can see them running around. There's one, two, There's one in the lid here. There it is. So I have four live ones. And I am gonna leave this guy in here just in case there's some babies that I missed. And I will come back 
the bugs like the corners, so hopefully we'll be able to see them. They're, they're at the uh, edges right now, except for this guy in the middle. And again, he he's upside down, actually. That is not a bug. Let's get that out of there. This guy is, but again, he's upside down. And there's already one on the ther thermostat or thermometer over here. Uh, need to be able to flip this guy, so I will try to do that, and we'll be back within a view from the top, and we'll fire the heat back up. Okay, so we're back. Um, you can see the one. Um, over by the um, oven thermometer. He seems to be struggling a little bit. I don't know if the glass is still hot. Uh, there are others along the edges, and I had a feeling that would happen. I will use my little uh, red dot. There is one right there. I don't know if we'll be able to see it or not. And there are a couple in the far corner, front corner there. So that one looks like it's uh, struggling. Now, there we go, it's moving now. Uh, and by the way, they won't climb up the glass, or they, they shouldn't anyway. They don't do well on smooth vertical surfaces. Yes, they can climb walls, but the smoother the, the surface is, the more difficult of a time they have climbing. All right, so now you can see one, it's moving. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's, uh, well, again, it's, uh, follow the red dot there, it's uh, close to, um, Yes, it's close to the thermometer there. So there are, I think, four live ones in here. And I uh, was hoping they'd be in the middle. So you can see them. So let me see if I can encourage them to the middle and we'll come back. All right, before we go back to the heat, I can't get these guys to move. I think I'm... Uh, I'm at risk of killing them. So you see in the corner, there's two. And along the edge, there's one. And there's one. So it looks like we have four alive. So you can see those two guys moving. These guys in the corner are pretty content. Um, but they're alive. Maybe when I throw the uh, dryer on, maybe they'll move because of the air movement. But I uh, just want to let you guys see that they're here. They're hard to see, and that guy's out in the open now, so maybe he'll stay there. All right, well, I'm gonna fire up the heat on low. That little guy out in the middle there may um, blow over to the end because of the uh, air, but we'll, we'll find out. It's right on the quarter. And I don't know how loud that is. I apologize if it's super loud. And I should start, uh, I'll start the timer when we hit about 115 degrees. All right, so you can see we still, we got one on the quarter. We got one on the front, about right where my red dot is. And there's a couple in the corner. I don't know if that'll be visible on our film or not. Um, the oven thermometer is right underneath the uh, uh, hair dryer, so that should start to rise pretty quickly. And I'm assuming you'll be able to read these on the film. guy left the quarter. He seems to be uh, struggling a bit. And actually that bug is upside down now.
So by the way, this is a good example of why when we do a heat treatment, we let our heaters run for about 18 hours after we've accomplished or achieved 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and the reason this is a good example is because by the thermometer tier right there, it shows nice and hot, but over in the middle where the digital thermometer, we're about 108 and all the way over to the left where the bugs are. Again, I'm only reading the glass, not the air, but the glass is still around 92 degrees. So picture this as your bedroom or living room for the heat to penetrate every corner, every nook, every cranny of your room, you need to let the heat run for a long time. Uh, obviously you'll have dressers full of clothing, uh, bedspread and, and linens on your bed. Um, all of those things can remain in the room and they will be treated with the rest of the room. And you add a closet into the mix and it's even more important to make sure you're heating for an extended period of time uh, and not only that but we add extra fans into the treatment area to circulate the air into closets and bathrooms so that they are receiving a uh, proper amount of heat It looks like two of them may have perished. This one, I don't know if you guys can see that, and then this guy, I think they have perished. Both this one and this one are still moving. We're about one minute in. We're probably, probably, that 118, 118 degrees Fahrenheit is probably pretty accurate for the whole tank at this point. Again, the thermometer, it is what it is. The heat is blowing directly on it. Uh, yeah, I'm getting readings of now the glass is all reading about in the neighborhood of 115 to 118. We're a minute and a half in. I believe he just perished. So I am going to uh, come back in a minute. We'll, we'll make sure they're, uh, they've perished. I'm gonna just uh, shut the heat off and open up the lid and we'll take a closer look. All right, so the lid is off and they haven't moved. I haven't moved them. So our glass, Our glass is actually interestingly cool. Of course, all the hot air is pretty much out of the tank. But these guys, I believe, They are dead. So there you have it. Consider using Debug Your Bed if you have uh, bed bugs and want a safe, chemical-free treatment that works, and it works well.